Welcome to Black Onyx, where we hope to keep you better informed about investing. I'm speaking with Ruben Builders, the Chief Investment Officer at Griffin Asset Management. Ruben, thank you for joining us today. Great being here. Ruben, tell us about yourself and how you found yourself in the world of investments. Andrew, I matriculated in 1981 and um, elected to do a Bachelor of Commerce at UCT, which took me three years. And uh, during the course of that, decided that I'd like to be a chartered accountant. So I did my CTA in 1985, graduated, and then did three years worth of articles at what was then Deloitte, Haskins and Sills. I then did 18 months of national service. And during the course of that, came across um, a very interesting person who was involved in the markets. He inspired me to then do the chartered financial and analyst exams, and I become a, became a CFA. Um, and in 1996, then joined Sunlum Asset Management. I became an equity analyst there, worked there for two years, and then in 1998 was part of the team which left Sunlum to start Griffin Asset Management. Griffin Asset Management commenced uh, roughly 20 years ago, and um, our objective really was to provide an alternative to investors who really had only the large asset managers and life assurers who had asset management businesses as alternatives. So we commenced that business and it's been a very exciting ride. Um, as I will explain to you a bit later, indexation has been a key component of our strategy going uh, over, over the past few years. And um, certainly the objective was, as I say, to provide investors with something that was not available in the South African market when we started. Ruben, please give us a bit of background on Griffin Asset Management and some of the strategies that you run. As, as I indicated, Griffin was started with the objective of providing investors with something unique in the local market. Um, certainly, we went through a few phases of development, but resulted in adopting a strategy which focused, focuses on indexation. So really what that all about is that in most developed markets, you have uh, an index which provides you with the average return of all the stocks on the market and generally in the index. And so an investor can open up his newspaper or his web page today and see what the performance of the index has been. Now, indexation as a concept originated about 40 years ago when a professor of finance, finance at Stanford University by the name of William Sharp came up with the concept that if there are 10 asset managers in the market, of the costs, of the trading costs and market impact costs, five of them, in other words, 50% of them would outperform the index and 50% would underperform the index. That was a novel approach um, 40, 50 years ago, but over time has proven to be hugely correct and very successful to investors. I only need to point you in the direction of someone like Vanguard internationally, which has grown in leaps and bounds, particularly over the past few years, as investors have realized that a major benefit to investment returns is in fact minimizing costs. So Griffin has provided that. We obviously provide unique products where we see there is a distinct advantage to investors, but generally our strategy is one of indexation and that is certainly something that we've been growing for the past few years and the market finally is seeing the light and we hope that over the next few years we'll see significant growth. Ruben, tell us about Griffin's funds. Okay, so our products are reflective of, of our indexation strategy and the underlying asset classes are really the building blocks that we use to set up a complete portfolio for our clients. So the underlying building blocks really are our money market fund, our all share tracker fund and our Griffin Global Equity Fund. The money market fund gives investors an interest, um, the interest income stream. The all share tracker provides exposure to the South African equity sector and the Griffin Global Equity Fund provides investors with exposure to the MSCI World Index. Now, why have we chosen those various indices? As I indicated earlier, the All Share Tracker really provides investors to the broadest possible index in South Africa. And while a number of people like to consider the All Z40, we believe that the broadest possible exposure is the best one. And we also can show investors that over time the All Share Tracker has in fact outperformed the All Z40. 
When it comes to our international exposure, we believe that South African investors are exposed in terms of 70% to 75% of the equity investors to a developing market, i.e. South Africa. And so our focus internationally is on developed markets and therefore we track the MSCI World Index. So those are our three building blocks and those products are indexed products. There is no stock selection involved there. We do, however, have two additional products and when it comes to adding value to portfolios, there are two sources of value that can be added. One which is stock selection and the other is asset allocation. Now just to re-emphasize, stock selection really does work but in markets that are not efficient. The South African market is clearly efficient as are most developed markets. So our approach to those markets is indexation. However, we do believe that value can still be added in terms of asset allocation. And there we have two products, the Griffin Prudential Fund of Fund, which is a, sec a Regulation 28 compliant fund, and the Flexible Fund, which is a very similar product, but not Regulation 28 compliant. What we believe there is that investors should be exposed to the asset class, which most assertively covers and beats inflation. So generally over time your exposure should be to equities. However, the difficult thing is choosing when you are exposed to equities and when not exposed to equities. So we will say, all right, in terms of those two multi-asset funds, the Prudential and the Flexible, we will perform the asset allocation decision for you. And based on our proprietary indicators, which really are a function of commodity prices, currencies, interest rates, inflation rates, and earnings growth, we will decide which asset class is best for the point in the cycle. The benefit to the investor is that we perform the asset allocation and they also get these multi-asset products at lowest possible cost. Over time, they've been back tested and certainly if one looks at the performance of these funds over the past three to four years, certainly it's in line with our back testing and we are certainly not only delivering performance to investors, but also doing so at lowest possible cost. So finally, our, our last product really is, is the Griffin Dividend Income Fund. I referred to that a bit earlier. That really is just a very unique product, which is geared and focused on investors who have maximized their interest exemption in terms of taxation and are looking for an after-tax yield. So we pay them a dividend income stream and that allows them an enhanced after-tax yield uh, in, in, in terms of, of a cash type product, which is also very secure and very similar to a money market. So if one looks at what distinguishes us, really it's low cost. That's, that's our mantra, that's, that's really our strategy. And if I could really just emphasize for a moment, one would expect, as is the case in most industries, that if you pay someone a higher fee, you get a better product or a better service. Sadly, in asset management, that's a bit of an anomaly because one would see that generally the people that charge you the lowest fees give you the best return. That's certainly something we think investors should focus on into the future. A second distinguishing feature about our product profile is that it's very liquid. So when it comes to indexation, what you want is a manager who charges you a low fee, who tracks the index ac accurately, but we also believe that liquidity is very important. So for example, should a multi-manager want to use our product, they want liquidity both when they invest and also when they withdraw. We think that's critical for them to consider and we give them that in our index products and certainly that would assist them and allow them to hold a lower cash balance at the very center of their portfolios. So in conclusion, for the conservative investor, we have, a multi, a, we have our money market fund, which provides an interest income stream. For those who have maxed out their interest exemption, we have the Griffin Dividend Income Fund and that gives them a enhanced after-tax income stream. And then for those looking for exposure to local equities, we have the All Share Tracker, International Equities, the Griffin Global Equity Fund. And for those wanting multi-asset exposure, really it's the Prudential Fund if you're looking for a Regulation 28 solution and the Flexible Fund if that's not a requirement.